Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about two really important iOS updates iOS 15.5 which currently is on beta 3 and it will take a few more weeks until this update gets released to the public and iOS 15.4.2. Now this should be a really really important update. It's not on beta but I would expect it to be released as a public release probably as soon as next week. Now these are both really important. Why we're going to talk about in a second here. First of all let's talk a bit history here. So the history of iOS 15 recently we had iOS 15.4 getting released. It has some amazing new features but it had major battery problems. Most iOS 15.4 users have been experiencing battery drain issues but Apple released iOS 15.4.1 with the battery fix. Did it fix it? Yes, it did for a lot of users. Still, a lot of users are actually reporting battery drain issues. And now we have iOS 15.5. Currently, this is on beta 3. And again, it will take probably another two or three betas, then the RC version, and then the public release. So you would expect this to be released to the public towards the end of May. That's what I would expect Apple to do. Now this update of course has the battery drain fix as well and it has some new features like the ability to add a driver's license on the wallet app. This of course will now just be able to be added on Arizona right here and also you will have send and request two new buttons here on the wallet app and of course it has some other new features which have been found on the code of iOS 15.5 but yet they didn't make it of course to the beta. But why are these two updates really important? Let's go ahead and see what they should fix and why we need these updates to be released as soon as possible iOS 15.5 and iOS 15.4.2 which I expect Apple to release as soon as next week are really important and we actually need these updates. Why? Because currently iOS has quite some issues that I've seen a lot of users facing. Now there are issues of course that different users will have on different iPhones, different versions, different models but there are some issues that I'm seeing a lot of people reporting actually the same issue the same bugs and of course that's really annoying and that's concerning because you know that that's a bug that has to be fixed and it's not just like an isolated case. First of all one of the worst like things on iOS 15 the storage doesn't seem to be working on iOS 15.4.1 and actually 15.5 beta 3 as well. So in my experience here sometimes it will load in seconds sometimes this will take like even minutes especially this part right here where it's calculating the other storage right here that's really really annoying and of course you can see right here it just takes really really long to load and this is a new device it should actually load really quick but that's like a bug that has been around on iOS 15 since the release and it's still not fixed hopefully Apple will do something about it with the release of iOS 15.4.2 or of course even the public release of iOS 15.5. Then there's another really annoying bug that I didn't experience myself. I've seen a lot of people reporting about this issue with the camera app, the stock camera app of iOS. Whenever you take a photo, you release the shutter, it will just crash the camera app. And the good thing is that it will take the photo so you tap here it takes the photo but it just crashes the app and i've seen this bug many times on twitter on reddit a lot of users have been reporting about this bug moving on to battery here so as we talked about iOS 15.4.1 was released especially to fix the battery drain issue did it fix it yes it did fix it for a lot of users in my experience, I didn't have the issue even with iOS 15.4, but most users that had battery drain issues have reported that this update did fix it. But also there are a lot of users who didn't get basically any like better battery life at all with iOS 15.4.1. Now taking a look here at the battery life, you can see what we have here. This is with iOS 15.5 beta 3 so you can see the runtimes like it's 
probably the same in my experience as iOS 15.4 and 15.4.1. So you would expect to get the same battery life on iOS 15.5 as well. But hopefully iOS 15.4.2 will be released pretty soon and fix the battery drain issue of course for the other people that are still experiencing this bug and there are also a lot of reports regarding wi-fi on ios 15.4.1 now this is one of the biggest bugs that probably users are facing right now with ios 15.4.1 now there are like times that the Wi-Fi won't just connect at all and there are times that the settings will say that the Wi-Fi is connected yet it won't appear on the status bar right here and of course it won't work. So that's really really annoying. I've seen a lot of reports with different issues with Wi-Fi on iOS 15.4.1 so that's why we need a 15.4.2 update really really soon and there's also a bug that also has been reported by a lot of users with alarms so you basically set an alarm and it will just turn off automatically so you have your alarms here you go to the alarm app to the clock app actually you turn on the alarm it will disable by itself that's a real issue i've seen this many times on reddit and hopefully this will be fixed with ios 15.4.2 and of course 15.5 as well now there are issues with ios 15.5 as well especially in my opinion the performance like taking a look at the geekbench score right here you will see that actually going to history here we have quite a huge drop here on the multi-core score so this right here is iOS 15.4.1. You can see we have we have 4,184, while we have 3,945 here on the multi-core score. Even though we have also a very very slight decrease on the single core score there. So in my experience, on the everyday use, you probably won't even notice it. But again, there is a drop on performance, even though it's still on beta. Hopefully that will be fixed and of course improved with the release to the public of iOS 15.5. So as a conclusion, all these issues that we have on iOS 15.4.1 right now should be fixed with a new update, which should be iOS 15.4.2. Hopefully that will be released as soon as next week. So that's what I would expect Apple to do. So expect this update to come out maybe on May 3rd or even 4th. I would actually ex expect Apple to do that. And then of course we should expect iOS 15.5 to come out to the public towards the end of the May. That should be more likely on the 24th of May. Hopefully that will be the date. And Apple of course doesn't push it any further because then we will have WWDC 2022 which will be on june 6th of course where we'll get the first beta of ios 16. so these are the reasons that we need ios 15.5 and also ios 15.4.2 to be released as soon as possible to the public because ios 15.4.1 is facing a lot of issues for a lot of users thank you guys for watching the video that's it for this one leave a like if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys on the next video